There are generally three plant growing stages and depending on what you grow, they might experience one or they might experience all three. This is important to know because you don't want them to experience some of these stages depending on what you're growing. These stages are vegetative, flowering, and fruit production. And as a grower, you have a say in the rate at which each of these stages might occur. Let's talk about vegetative growth. So vegetative growth is growth of leaves and stems. A plant where you eat the leaves and stems like lettuce, you want to experience rapid vegetative growth. The primary nutrient when it comes to vegetative growth is nitrogen. So all of these plants like lettuces, herbs, and anything that you eat and want leaves to grow fast, you want to feed a lot of nitrogen, which aquaponics is perfect for. All plants experience vegetative growth, but plants where you eat the leaves and stems, you want to only experience vegetative growth and you want that growth to be fast. The next type of growth is flowering. Once you move into the flowering stage of growth, this is where you need supplemental nutrients past nitrogen, such as phosphorus and potassium. Let's take a pepper plant, for example. A pepper plant is going to experience vegetative growth for the first month or two of its life cycle, then it's going to experience flowering growth. During this growth stage, it's important that the pepper plant has plenty of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in order to flower the most effectively, as well as some of the other nutrients that we talked about. Certain flowering plants also need a certain amount of darkness. The last stage of growth is the fruiting stage. So flowers ultimately, once they are pollinated, turn into fruit. And fruit needs a variety of nutrients to potassium and calcium to help it form nice, healthy fruits. One thing that you can do as a grower is force ripen your fruit. And there's two ways that you can kind of ripen fruit on your own. One is to lower the amount of water that you're feeding your plant. So basically by starving the plant of water, it's going to tell the plant, hey, you're going to die soon, so you need to ripen your fruit in order to reproduce. You don't want to kill the plant, but you can cut the water back. The next way that you can encourage ripening is by cutting off nitrogen completely. You can really only do this in hydroponic systems, but by removing nitrogen, you're only going to be providing the plant with phosphorus and potassium, aka flowering and fruit development, and it will ripen the fruit for you. 